Okay, so the first thing and the easiest thing to do is to click on the clip that you want to um, put the start thing on. I've just used the first clip. You can obviously do a cinematic if you want. But, and then you're going to search for Gaussian Blur, which is this one right here, under Blur and Sharpen. Then you're going to put this on. And then what you're going to do is you're going to adjust the blurriness until how you like it. I usually have it on about 200. And then you want to tick this, Repeat Edge Pixels, because otherwise there's this little um, sort of dark area on the edge. But if you uh, repeat Edge Pixels, you can see it's all much smoother. And then what you want to do is you want to go to where you want your clip to come in, which is about here where the sound starts. And then you're going to toggle this here, this keyframe. And then I usually go like five or six. It doesn't really matter how far. It's really up to you. And then make the zero. And you'll see that you've got the blur at the start and then it unblurs just as you go into the clip. So now what we want to do is to add the text. So to add text on Premiere Pro, it's really easy. You just go to the um, little text type tool down here. You see it, or you can press T on your keyboard. And then what you want to do is just click on the screen and you can write whatever you want. And then what you want to do is you obviously want a bit of a better text than the default one. So if you go over to graphics and then go to edit top right and then to your text, and then you can do this right here. So right here, this aligns it. So if you just click horizontal center and vertical center, it'll put it directly in the middle. And then what you wanna do is you wanna obviously change your text. Right, so I'm just gonna change it to the one I usually have. That's the one I normally have. And then I'm just gonna align it again because when you change your um, font, it usually unaligns it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna resize it to how I want. So probably about this. And I think that looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna apply the effect that makes it wavy. Okay, so the problem with, the main problem with this is that you are going to need the Sapphire plugins. A lot of the effects that I use on my montages are Sapphire, so it's uh, a bit annoying for those who don't have them, but I'm sure you can find them somewhere, so, you know. But anyway, you want to search up Sapphire Warp Waves. This one right here, Warp Waves. Not Warp Waves 2, just Warp Waves. And then you want to apply it to the text, and you'll see it'll look like that at the, at the start. But what you want to do is you want to scroll down your Effects tab. So click on the Effects tab here scroll down to warp waves okay so then what you want to do is you want to just copy these settings that i've got here so i put the amplitude at 0.02 the frequency at one the angle at zero and then i haven't changed this i haven't changed this but i've changed the phase speed to one so basically this is just the effect right here i'll play it now you can definitely just play around with all the effects here so if you want to change the amplitude maybe you want to make it a little bit quicker okay not that quick, not that quick, but maybe you want to make it say 0.04 instead. And then the frequency, if you want to change that, maybe make it three and you'll have more waves. But I don't think, I don't think that looks good. I think just the one big wave is probably the best. The phase speed um, just increases the speed of the swivel. So there you go. But I think that's too quick. I like it on one. Anyway, I like how I usually have it. So just like this, this is how I have it. But with the text, you're probably going to want the um, darkened sort of shadow. So there's two ways you can do this, but I find a better way to do it is to just copy the text. If you hold Alt on your keyboard, click on the text and drag, and then let go, and then let go of Alt afterwards, and you'll get two of them. And then on the bottom one, what I like to do is um, change the fill to black, um, and ch add a stroke, and have it about 20 pixels, and have that black as well. And then I also like to um, get Gaussian Blur again, and then apply it to the bottom text and then I increase the blurriness to about 50 and you'll see that it has a little highlight but you can also uh, play around the stroke maybe I want a bit more so I'm going to increase the stroke to about 40 and increase the blur to about 70 so yeah you go yeah and that's the black background that you get behind the uh, behind the text so here's what it looks like So there you go. That is literally how to do the blurry um, background with the turbulent text effect. So that concludes the um, editing like Clerk and Nummy part two. So if you want to see any other sort of tutorials, just let me know in the comments.